What up, Internet? I am the PC Goblin. And in today's video, we're going to be messing around with TrueNAS or FreeNAS, whatever you want to call it. The latest name is TrueNAS, but we're going to be taking these three external drives. Now, they're Easy Store by Western Digital, 18 terabytes, so they're nice and huge. We're going to be setting it up to be a RAID 5. Now, I know right now they're externals, but this is for my brother-in-law, and when he gets the hard drives back, he's going to be shocking them and putting them inside a machine. I'm just going to start by taking these out, and then we'll start getting the hardware all set up and plugged into my machine. So I now have everything hooked up to my PC. Now this is my wet bench, so it's going to be a 3800X, 16 gigs of RAM, Z570 motherboard, but most importantly I've got the three drives hooked up, which we can see right here. So right there, right there, and right there. And then we have the two little USB thumb drives, and the reason we have those is that's going to be his OS. That's going to be what's running true NAS or free NAS on his system. And the reason I have two of them is one of them is going to be redundant backup. So if one dies, just boot off the other one, pick up where you left off, stick it in a new one, replace the old one, and you're good to go. But that's way more than we needed to know for this. First things first is we need to install TrueNAS onto one of the USB drives. So that's what we're going to do now. Here's my copy of TrueNAS 12.0 U1 and we're going to use Rufus to burn it to the USB stick so we can boot to that. Alright, it's pretty simple. You choose your device. And just so I know which one, I'm going to pull up out. Alright, so you choose your device. Select your image. I've already got it selected. So TrueNAS 12.0-U1.ISO, go ahead and hit start, it's going to do its thing, and we'll come right back as we're booting up to the USB. We're now booted to the TrueNAS installer, so we're going to do one, and it's booting to it now, or fully booting to it. Gonna install. We're gonna hit OK with that. Gotta plug in the other drive now. Gonna install it on the USB stick. Oops. Gotta actually select it by hitting space. Now I can hit enter, hit OK, this will erase, whatever. Alright, now we're booted into TrueNAS. We're going to choose one to configure the network interfaces. So that's just going to be one. Before I could configure the network interface, I needed to set a default route. I forgot to do that earlier, so all you do for that is hit, you know, four. Then configure IPv4 default route. Punch in your gateway address. That happens to be mine. I'm not configuring an IPv6 default route because I don't use that. All right, at this point, we're gonna be continuing the rest from my Mac because it's all GUI based and whatnot. So time to change screens. So here we are at the GUI screen. So 1001.109, username's gonna be root. Then you wanna put in your password, whatever you set it up as. Don't need help, but you can go ahead and go through that if you want. And here we go. We basically, I mean, we're. We've got it set up, but now we need to create a user. Before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and create a new group. This is for going to be for the admins to help keep our permissions easy. And we'll permit sudo, hit submit. Then we've got our admin group. Now we're going to go create my brother-in-law, his own user to log in as. That way he doesn't have to use root. Here's our admin group. Don't care about auxiliary groups. Permit sudo. Not doing a Microsoft account because I don't want to hook this up to Active Directory. And that should be good for now. 
All right, now the next thing we need to do is go create our storage. So we've got no pools. We need to create a pool, create a new pool. We're gonna do it out of the three 18 terabyte drives that we got. We're gonna do RAID Z. Okay, we got Mirror Z going. So we're gonna have an estimated raw capacity of about 32 terabytes. And we gotta name it. We call it C Money. Hit create, confirm, create pool. And then for this, we're gonna to wanna to use a data set. So basically it's file versus block, data set is file, zvol is block storage. I'm just gonna call this data, let it inherit. Don't need to worry about compression or anything like that. Okay, now we've got data as our primary data set. Data is gonna be one of the volumes or network shares that you're gonna to connect to. So you're not gonna to connect to C-Money, you're gonna connect to data. So now we wanna go ahead and make data a share. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to sharing. We're gonna do Windows shares. We're gonna add, we're gonna choose path. So data is gonna be our path. So mount, see money, data. And then we want advanced options. And we're actually good to go with that. And we're gonna enable this service. Configure now, we wanna configure permissions for this. I'm gonna create a custom ACL. So I'm not gonna explain these, but this is how I've got it set up. This is how it works for me. Probably have different ideas of how this should be. Go ahead and save that. So now we've got a permission set with that. Pretty much all there is to this. So I connected to it. So if you're on a Mac, if you're on Windows, you're gonna do more or less the same thing, but just gonna to connect to 10.01.109. I've already done that. Here's my data, or here's my drive right here, data. I had to go make a couple of changes to the user permissions, so I just hit edit. And the changes that I did is I added, or I made the primary group, you know, admin, that's the one that we created up here. And then for the auxiliary groups, I did will, built-in users, because that's what it chose, and I saw no issue with it, and then admin. And by doing that, that allows me to A, connect to the share, or data, as we want to call it. And then it also lets me read and write to it. So here's a folder that I created to it. Here's another folder I created to it. Then you just hit remove to trash and I can delete it, it's gone. And that's how you set up FreeNAS with three external USB drives. Now you can use more, potentially less drives if you wanted, but that's how I did it for this video. I hope you guys found it entertaining, but at the very least, I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, go ahead and smash the dislike. But I hope you guys want to see more of my stuff, so you'll pound that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much.